plastic bags around. However, if we're going to ban it, you have to replace it with something that is recyclable. I use them as garbage when I get home. Because, you know, after you transport your stuff, you have a bag that's all deformed and everything, so you can either throw it out and waste it, or you can actually use it as a garbage bag. They're very useful, and if you do any work in your kitchen, it's the best thing. Every street has garbage and uh, plastic bags flying all over the place. Like, it's not good for our environment. A lot of differing opinions when it comes to the ban on plastic bags. We've put a great panel together for you here. We've got Delia Finucchi, who, who is a speaker on en environmental issues and solutions. Welcome to the show. Great to have you here. Souvent Oulet, who is city councillor with Projet Mont Montréal. Welcome to the show. And to my right, Natalie St. Pierre, vice president of the Retail Council of Canada. And of course, Elias Makos, my co-host here on Breakfast Television. Let's start with uh, you, Delia. Tell us a little bit about why you're, 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 you're for the ban itself. What are some of the reasons you're for the ban? Well, obviously, uh, plastic bags are based on petroleum products. Uh, they're, uh, based, plastic is a, an infinite resource in the sense that it, it uh, doesn't really have a, a lifespan that, uh, that we can understand because it's beyond our lifespan. Right. Uh, so it should be used as such, you, you don't use something permanent in a temporary job, right? You, you take something permanent to do a permanent job, you do some, use something temporary to do a temporary job. We, we saw some arguments, though, right. from, from people on the street yep. that are saying, hey, I do reuse mine. I use it right. for garbage. I use it to pick up my dog poop. Yep. What would you say to them? Well, that's very good. Uh, I think that uh, the one, the plastic bag, I also use it to pick up my dog poop. Right. Uh, and uh, oftentimes I reach in and there's a hole already. <laughs> and uh, so the And that's not fun. And that's no. not fun, no. And uh, so what happens is, uh, from my opinion, is um, that uh, you're, you're using plastic uh, and you're not using it in a very effective manner. Uh, okay. you, you should use it in a manner that is um, respectful of its quality. So it's a permanent uh, object, right, well, plastic, but it's got holes in it, so it's not functional. Of course. So well, you're, it's wasted even I, before you start. I guess what nice. I, well, you know, my question then to that is, mm -hmm. I get that, that's a really g good argument, but is the ban a solution? So then do you think a ban is the appropriate thing here? <clears throat> we ban tin plastic bags because tin plastic bags are the one that can uh, that can be easily go in the nature when it's windy. So it, it's why we banned tin plastic bags. We didn't ban all type of plastic bags. Uh, this is an important difference. But the main problem in Montreal is we didn't have the, uh, the adequate rules, the adequate law to uh, put other options. For example, in Ireland, you know, they put some small eco fees, uh, the, the same thing that we have on our new tires in Quebec. Mm -hmm. So uh, the fees, uh, it, it, done, it did two things. First, the number of bags that were uh, that was produced was reduced by almost 90 percent. But also, the eco fees go to a special fund, so it can clean up, you know, uh, environments where the you know some plastic bags and other um, you know styrofoam and other things can go on our streams and nature. So um, it, it should have been a good solution, but it should have made by the. Uh, province of Quebec and not the city of Montreal. There, there's an economic impact here that we haven't heard about, Natalie, and what is the position of the Retail Council of Canada? Well, I mean, there's a lot of good arguments that have been made against the plastic bag, but it's it's also, you know, part of the solution, and we're just displacing uh, the problem because consumers will have to buy bags for their garbage. So I think it's having a global vision that we're trying to promote here, and we wanted to have more discussion with the city of Montreal and Brassard and all of the others that have been saying, you know, there's there's a need for a ban to work on those those solutions. You'd so like for, to see a committee. Yes, right, and, and, and more work around trying to convince consumers that they need to compost, for instance. That would reduce their need for plastic bags. But we've had a, the five cents, um, not a tax, but you know, an incentive for consumers right. to think about bringing their, um, their reusable bags. You know, you see it in the grocery store, there's big panels to say, reminding you, did you bring your bags? All of those things have been uh, very effective because in the grocery sector, there's been 76% reduction. We didn't need a regulation. We didn't need a law. You know, consumers are getting on board, but they have to have alternatives. And we heard that also from your, the, the people that you surveyed. Right. They want alternatives. And if the reusable bags are not recyclable, we're not doing the right thing. So that's where we think that there's got to be a sequence to all of this. 
educate more consumers so that they recycle the bags. Um, but alternatives to the dog business <laughs> is hard to, to figure that's, out. And I don't think that's what's disappointing to me is that, that we're going towards a ban when we don't compost in this city enough. I know certain boroughs are doing it, certain yeah. cities are doing it. We don't compost. Most of our recycling ends up in landfill. Shouldn't that be the priority first, yeah. the, Delia? The recycling I program that, is not uh, good. Yeah, we're supposed to be uh, uh, banning all organic materials uh, from our garbage by, by 2020. Uh, Montreal is, a, is late right now in the implementation. Uh, there have been boroughs that have worked on it, and uh, thank God. There are brown <laughs> bins around, so that's good. Well, we'll hold that thought in just yeah. a moment. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll come back okay. to that, because recycling in Montreal is an issue we need to cover as well. We'll be back with our panel right after this. You're watching Breakfast Television. Getting rid of water bottles as well. I mean, they're not good for the environment at all, and it's a complete waste in my opinion. I think if they're phasing it out, it's a good idea because they're slowly using them less and less. From an environmental standpoint, yeah, there's probably a lot of waste, but at the same time, I, I think the bottles could be recycled and reused. The ocean is becoming more and more full with plastic, so something has to be done. It's good to have an initiative locally. That seems to be the next target. Bottled water. Also, we're looking at plastic cutlery. Denis Coderre saying that that's where he's going next. Sylvain, you're part of the opposition. What do you think about that becoming the next target for, for Mayor Denis Coderre? It, can, it could be interesting from an environmental point of view. But uh, what I'm really concerned is, uh, for example, when a municipality wants to ban uh, a, a plastic bottle or plastic bag, we don't have all the levers to, uh, to really uh, tackle the problem. For, for example, if the, the government of Quebec, you know, want to impose a, a fee or a, a refund, you mm -hmm. know, it's it's only uh, it's only then that they can do that. So, um, but it's it's all recyclable. Yeah, so, sure. You know, the problem with the city of Montreal is that they lack the facilities for consumers yeah. to put their plastic bottles into the recycling bins. We've been trying to convince the city. We have programs. Um, to encourage the city, they get subsidized to put some of those bins, but they have not done this because it means having to empty those bins and the, you know, then the mm -hmm. unions and all of, of these issues. So, but then, so they want to ban, but they don't provide the facilities I, for. It's consumers. a harder sell, probably and, and too, right? This because is the taxes the would go perfect up. Perfect storm of bureaucracy. We'll, we're going to ban <laughs> plastic bottles, okay? Plastic mm -hmm. water bottles. We'll yeah. ban plastic yeah. water bottles. Everyone. People use plastic water bottles because it's convenient. So they're still going to need to hydrate themselves. They'll go to the store now. They'll buy soda instead because they can't buy water. And then we're going to tax soda. It is a perfect <laughs> storm or, of bureaucracy. Or, they, or they'll get educated, Delia, yeah. which, which you think is very important, yeah. to use reusable bottles, yeah. to, to get educated why the plastic ban is important, yeah. and to perhaps even go further and get better recycling here in yes, the city of Montreal. Yes, because the infrastructure is, is not there. I mean, we're not doing optimum uh, recycling, right? Yeah. We're not we doing optimum build recycling. The, the uh, place uh, des spectacles, Quartier des spectacles. There's no fountains, so yes. you're going to say we excellent ban water. Yeah. 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 So, uh, but uh, there's no infrastructure, not only for recycling the plastic. Other times you go to the Festival du Jazz. You're not allowed to bring right. yeah. your something your own in, yes. because they think maybe there could be something else in water. But other festivals, but other yeah. festivals have gone the route of having you know water available, and yeah. you, you see it around the country. But you're going to buy in the plastic cup. No, no, no. But you'll you'll they'll, they'll encourage you to bring your reusable yeah. bottle with you. We've okay. seen it in different festivals. Do you think this is a bit of greenwashing, perhaps Sylvain, <laughs> taking the plastic bag ban? and greenwashing the fact that recycling is really the problem, not plastic bags? <clears throat> this is the main problem with the Qatar administration. You know, you, you only want to make some, uh, not necessarily popular, but visible steps. Uh, for example, the, the plastic bags, you know, it's a symbol. But uh, in fact, in Montreal, you know, our main issue is transport. You know, uh, our, our public transport is jam. Uh, greenhouse gases, you know, the city of Montreal, you know, uh, will never reach its target in 2020. Uh, the recycling facilities and the composting facilities, Mayor Kada, uh, you know, for a small political, um, uh, gesture. Uh, yeah, gesture, uh, he, uh, he delayed by two years the implementation of uh, composting facilities in right. Montreal. So, you know, plastic bags, yes, it's important, but 
in the overall yeah, scheme. In the overall, bigger, you know, it's the small part. Yes. And, yes. and uh, you know, it's, it's do, it really doing that for Greenwash. What about the economic impact? Because there are companies in Quebec, in Ontario as well, that make the majority of plastic bags. There's not even a, a lot of being brought in from outs. It, will there be an in, impact on, on the economy as Absolutely. well and jobs? Absolutely. Absolutely. Jobs for the plastic industry for sure. But from the retail's perspective, it's going to increase the cost to consumers. So obviously getting thicker bags made first of all um, Brassard is thinking about 100 microns which is very very thick mm -hmm. nobody can do that here so we're going to import bags from China right. that's the question and then paper bag is worth <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> Kelly is going oh my goodness where are you going Natalie here <laughs> but it's true but that's, you know, that's the that's solutions incredible. that are because consumers you know they're asking for some of those bags because they don't want to buy garbage yeah, bags yeah. so there's a and they're you know, piling up in my home the reusable bags yeah. are piling up. I've had to buy so many. Go to the store. Oh, geez, I forgot mine. Yeah. Go to the SAQ. I forgot mine. They will not yeah, okay, give you a bag. Okay, Delia, what do you say to that to counter what cultural, Natalie and, and Elias to, are saying? You, well, there, there's, there's a lot of education that has to happen. Culturally, we have to, you know, these are habits. You have to take them on. You have to tell yourself, I got to learn how to do this. But we're still buying yeah. bags. That is, yeah, that, sure. That's part of the point. The consumer's saying to themselves, yeah, but now I have to go and buy my garbage bags and buy my poop bag. What's the difference of doing that? And why should I believe it that? from a city that throws all of its recycling, most of its recycling, into the garbage? Why should I believe? You know that's, I mean? not, like, that's not true. But that's that is bad. It, well, what, you know what the percentage no. is? Like five percent. No. Less than 5% yes. of our recycling is going yes. into the trash. Yes. I've seen studies that so are showing it's a lot more the, than that. They're improving. Everybody's improving in terms of getting mm -hmm. those things sorted out properly, the plastic and the, you know, the different fibers and so on. So, But we need to improve the equipment in Montreal. And they sure. admitted that they don't uh, even have the equipment to sort out plastic bags. And even so, glass, you know, it's really bad. Last word, The impact of organic material in our uh, landfills it, it produces methane 20 times worse than carbon monoxide why aren't we looking at that I mean and why aren't we using that compost to to make compost mm -hmm. I there, mean it's organic material there's a lot of compelling arguments on all sides I think Natalie mentioned a committee is probably not a bad idea to bring a lot of the parties together thank you all for being here really thank appreciate you. it